Matt and I separated, broke up, whatever you want to say, um, two days ago. And I just feel like I have been buried alive. I just want to go to sleep and wake up like three years from now. I am devastated. I feel like... I feel like the whole world, my whole world has come crashing down on top of me and I've been buried alive inside it. I am exhausted. And it's such a long way to go. I don't know what else to say. I know people will have questions. And I can't give you any answers. Um, that's not for anybody else. That's between the two of us. And that's, that's, that's it. That's the way it is. So I am leaving Brisbane, moving, and I'm so glad I am, I can't be in Brisbane anymore, I have to just, I just have to start over, I just need to start again. I, I won't say exactly where the exact suburb that I'm going to be living, that's just a safety thing. Um, I've had people cyberstalk me and show up at my house and stuff like that. Um, it's not a fun time, so um, I will be living somewhere in the tropical North Queensland region. Um, my closest airport will be Cairns. It's going to be hot. <laughs> but I really just want the change. And I'm really excited for the change. I made a calendar today with like days, you know, like counting down until we go and I just, my sole focus is just to get that cross every day. Just cross that number off. That's all I have to do. Just at the end, just get to the end of each day and at the end of each day I get to cross. It's going to be a big year. <laughs> but we have a lot to look forward to and a lot to be grateful for. There's so many good things in my life and so many things I've been blessed with and I believe I have everything I need with me to get through this. I have you, <laughs> my cat, and there's so many things to be grateful for and so many wonderful things coming my way and I want this move and I'm ready for this move so i just got to roll up my sleeves and get stuck into it because there is a lot to do. Let's get started. <laughs> about this that are harder than I expected. Um, you know, I'm packing things like this is, uh, this is a wedding anniversary gift. And I love it and I cherish it and I want to keep it because it is something that was given to me in love. It's something I love. I don't think that you should just throw out everything of somebody. <laughs> But there's a note inside the box. Mm. <laughs> mm. <sighs> what do I do with that? Do I throw it out? Damn. Um. Oh, when I read it again, <laughs> stupid. Okay. You know what? This is why people do this with somebody else here, like a friend. <laughs> I'm just gonna seal it up. Never wanted any party. Has been 
in one week. I've had a really long shower today and washed my hair for the first time in a week. <laughs> I just couldn't function, I couldn't do anything but get up every day and exist and get that get that X crossed off every day. Hello darling. One problem I have is that I come across very deadpan about it and you know a couple of people I have spoken to about it are like oh you seem totally fine and obviously you guys saw me when I spoke to you last and I was not totally fine but it's so much easier for me to be like that with you and when it's just me alone with my camera in my house I can really let my guard down but when I'm face to face with other people I just can't let people in it's just been a really tough week honestly and you know I would love to hear from anybody who has gone through this before even if you haven't gone through the big D doors even if you've just gone through a breakup in a very long term relationship or a breakup with somebody you really loved I would love to hear all about it <laughs> please share your your story in the comments and I will gladly read it I would love to hear about it because you know it's so easy just to share the highlights reel of your life but there's all this other stuff that goes into it and this is not a highlight for me <laughs> good days and there are bad days and there are really 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 bad days I'm learning that this whole thing is a roller coaster and you can't get off until it's done there's no way to get off you just have to go through it You know, you think you know that what a divorce will be like, or you just assume that it's like a breakup, and it's not like a breakup. It is so much worse. It is so much harder. There are so many other challenges. It is brutal. And I guess what's hard, and in a weird sense, easy, I don't know how something can be both things. What's hard is that you can't stop, you have to keep going. And what's easy is that, well, there's nothing to be done. They just have to keep going. But this is like nothing I've ever experienced before. This is a wild time. One. I'm having a rough day. I can't breathe. I don't know how I can do all of this. How am I going to do all of this? I feel like I just am in this phase of everything crumbling and breaking and this big period of destruction and cleaning and clearing and you can't hold on to your old life and have a new one but your old life just doesn't disappear overnight I believe I believe at a deep core soul level that I can make it through this because I know this doesn't kill you. <laughs> it feels it feels like it feels like a death every day. It feels like a death every single day. It should kill you. <laughs> it should be so much that you just never get up and out of bed again, but somehow you do.
It's amazing what you're capable of surviving. It's amazing how you can feel and still get up every single day and continue to exist. <laughs> I was walking the dog the other day and I had this crazy revelation. I realized that my whole life I have felt it was unsafe, unwise, not possible, just that I shouldn't share my feelings. And so you begin to doubt your feelings. You start to think that everything you feel is wrong. And that's how I have experienced life. I'm tired of making myself small to fit into a certain space. I'm tired of minimizing my feelings. I'm tired of telling myself before I even say something, before I even act on something, that I'm wrong. And this isn't... This isn't aimed at Matt. I'm sure people sitting here will go, oh, that's Matt, whatever. This is my whole life. This is who I am as a person. This is one of those things that you struggled with right from the start. You know the kind of stuff I'm talking about. We all have it. This phase that I'm at in my life right now is the ultimate act of self-love. This season is about me. What comes next is about me all of it, every single day. What do I feel? What do I need? And doing it, feeling it, going after it, allowing myself to having it, to have it. Stopping myself from minimizing my feelings and dismissing my needs, stopping myself from going, but you can't have that. You want it, but you can't have it. You're not good enough. You don't deserve it. It would never happen. You guys watched that whole series from me leaving here from the Gold Coast feeling so scared and so anxious and so small and so grey to just unfurling, <laughs> just exploding, just evolving into this full spectrum of colour. You guys saw it happen. And I've experienced so much goodness. And I'm ready for so much more. Every day when the sun rises, I feel love beating down my door. Every night when the moon is shining, I pray you'll be coming back for more. I've been so worried this week about. How am I going to do all of this? How does this work? What does this look like? I haven't been able to sleep, lying awake at night, tossing and turning, and my mind will just thing come up with a new problem in the dead of the night. And I just keep saying to myself, just let go. Do not try to control it. Just let it go. Let this happen. Because there is a plan for that. There is a plan for everything. Just have some trust, have some faith, and everything will be okay, and today it is okay. I was so worried about all these things, and suddenly I don't need to be, and it just, today has just been it's just an emotional, <laughs> humbling lesson that if you just stop trying to hold on, and you let go, everything will flow. And I've been gripping on so tightly for so long and sometimes it's like you are in a boat <laughs> and a little crack appears, a little hole appears and you try and plug it and then another one and then another one and another one and another one and eventually you run out of fingers and you run out of toes and you run out of things to patch this thing and you just have to let it go because it's costing you everything to try and hold on to it. And when you do, you realize that you're not going to drown. You're gonna swim, and I'm a good swimmer.
last night in my house. Can you believe it has been six weeks? <laughs> I feel like I have gone through so much in six weeks. <laughs> I didn't know it was possible to go through that much in six weeks. I'm also shocked at how much I've been able to get done. I'm starting to realize that the things you worry about they don't come true. I'm starting to realize that whatever it is you're worried about, there's a plan for that. I had no idea at the start of this how I was gonna get through it. There was a plan for that. I had no idea how I was gonna get everything packed and ready by myself. There was a plan for that. I had no idea how I was gonna get up every day, how I was gonna make it through this. I had no idea how I was gonna pull my business apart figure all this stuff out, learn everything, take everything on. And there was a plan for that. If you're like me and you spend, lose, waste so much time thinking about the future and all the things that are gonna happen and how is that gonna happen and listing things in your head that could go wrong. What if this happens? What if that happens? What if this happens? What if that happens? When you're going through something like this, you don't have the ability to do all of that. It will crush you. It will crush you alive. I've had no choice but to stop doing it. And it has, it has taught me a lot about the timing of life and the way things kind of just work out. Sorry, if the cameras moved, um, the lawnmower was going outside and it was a terrible sound. And what I want to say to you is really important to me and I don't want that to distract any of us from it because I need to say thank you to you um, I don't think you know how much making this video has gotten me through the last six weeks being able to take a mental break from this just for a second and pick up the camera and talk to you or film what I'm doing and focus on this positive outcome rather than how overwhelming it feels has been life changing for me. So thank you. Um, thank you for seeing me and accepting me and loving me and listening to me and thank you for all the support you give me. You have no idea how much I'm gonna need you over the next year. It's gonna be a pretty special year. <laughs> It's going to be the kind of year that really fixes my soul and brings me back to life and I can't wait to see where we go and share it all with you. So thank you. The next time you see me I'll be waking up, getting in the car, leaving Brisbane forever. Ready to start my new life. <laughs>